Okay, this one wasn't as much of a viewer request, but I thought it had to happen. The Mora Garberg stainless versus the Gerber strong arm. Let's get into this. So, this wasn't necessarily a viewer requested video, but I felt that these two knives are so similar in their design and their purpose that it just wouldn't be right to it just wouldn't be right to do a video not comparing these. So let's talk about the performance between the good old Mora Garberg and the good old Gerber strong arm. So starting off, we had batoning. Now I'm not gonna lie, these two knives performed very similar, almost to a scary degree in similarity. Um, but they both did very good when it came to batoning and that was really to be expected they have about the same thickness the gerber probably slightly outperforms in batoning due to the fact that it is slightly thicker and a little bit longer which usually helps with leverage but by and large i really didn't notice anything substantially uh one way or the other both knives performed very well Moving over to feather sticking, this is one of those that, while it doesn't look like the Garberg did as well as the strong arm, the Garberg still did just fine, and it's one of those times where when I do tests like these, it's always a little bit difficult going between different grinds, because what a lot of people don't realize is when you use a flat grind or a saber grind or a scandy grind they all have different angles at which you have to approach the wood to get good feather sticks so while i did try my hardest to make this work the uh, scandinavian grind can be a little bit challenging to go back to after using a flat grind but by and large the feather sticking performance was pretty equal on them with the slight edge going to the strong arm and by and large your full flat grinds and your flat grinds and your saber grinds are going to be some of the better grinds for uh, feather sticking specifically. However, going to our next part in this test, you can begin to see the trade-off between the Scandinavian grind and the flat grind. Uh, in this part, the Garberg definitely took the lead in uh, being able to make accurate and deep um, make accurate and deep notches so whether you're trying to construct a deadfall trap or you're trying to make a pot hanger to boil some water the garber definitely was able to make notches substantially easier and that just goes back once again to the grind being scandinavian there's not a lot of um, steel behind the very cutting edge on a scandinavian grind so it was able to push through the material a lot easier Whereas the strong arm, once again, having a thicker blade stock plus being a flat grind, which means that there's more steel behind the cutting edge, was substantially harder to do anything with. And as I've said in a previous comparison, I would consider the strong arm to be serviceable, but not proficient at uh, creating uh, notches. So anyways, that basically sums it up. I didn't want to do any ferro rod striking just because ferro rod striking is something that both of these knives do extremely well and there's plenty of footage of me already striking both of these they throw great sparks and they can either of these definitely will start a fire without any problems so long as you do your due diligence and you properly prepare a fire lay so Either way you slice it, both of these knives are pretty good for survival. Once again, I would probably, in my opinion, lean more towards the Garberg over the strong arm. Not to say that the strong arm is a bad knife or an inferior knife, but once again, going back to creating notches, that is a definite weakness. And I like how the Garberg is more well-rounded. Now, both of these are stainless steels too, so the nice thing is both of them are gonna be fairly equal in rust resistance. So they have a lot in common, but the Garberg just slightly outperforms the strong arm in uh, that one aspect of notching. So <clears throat> anyways, other than that, they are very similar knives and it's really up to you at the end of the day to choose which one you would have. But the Garberg is still, in my opinion, on top. 
Anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this. And as always, God bless, and I'm out.